Hello everybody! Welcome to a brand new series called Super Mario World! I am super duper excited to play this for you guys. I know that a lot of you actually wanted to see me play this game next. Uh, we're playing another Mario game, which I am happy about. This is another one of these games where I have... I've actually beaten this game before. I actually have. And I think I actually have technically in a way 100%ed it, but it's been very, it's been a very, very long time. Because this game came out in the 90s. I think it came out the year I was born or before then. I know it says 1990 to 1991 Nintendo, so I think it was around that time before I was born, but um, I'll have to look it up exactly. I'll probably put up the year on the screen. Uh, but I believe it's 96. Anyway, this was a game that I grew up with a lot on the Super Nintendo, and I can't wait to play this game for you guys. <sighs> I'm so excited. This is actually one of these last plays I've been looking forward to. So let's go ahead and start a new game, and we'll do a one-player game. Welcome! This is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Looks like Bowser is at it again. That tricky Bowser. He is... He is a miscreant, always trying to marry Peach. Well, actually, I, I don't know if his goal is always to have been marrying Peach. I think it's... I don't know. I don't know. It's just a way to, I guess, defeat... Defeat Mario just as a means. Like, she's just leveraged for Mario to come and save her. And he has all the stuff in the way to try to stop him immediately. All right, so here we are in the first world, world one. So we're gonna go to Yoshi's house real quick. And look, there's birds up there, different colors. Yoshi's mailbox is there too. Hello, sorry I'm not home, but I have gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser. Yoshi. All right, well, there's nothing here for us. So uh, we're gonna go to the left and we're gonna start Yoshi's Island one. So, diving right into the game, we're in the first world, or first level of the world, which, oh my gosh, this music, the music, the vibes, I'm probably going to be dying a lot in this too, so bear in mind. And if I miss any secrets, because there are a lot of secrets in this game, so if I miss any secrets, please let me know in the comments down below, because I have a feeling that I will at some point. Man, it's been it's been such a long time since I played this. But I do remember the controls, and I am playing on a Super Nintendo controller. So I I am in my prime right now, guys. In my prime. Um I got this one that uh you can get. I got this from Walmart, and it's a USB SNES controller, so. If you guys are interested in, like, emulators and all that, I recommend getting this uh, for SNES games. Other than that, I've been using just my, you know, my PlayStation 4 controller for all the other games, like with Banjo-Kazooie. Which, that one actually wasn't that bad with it. I just messed up a couple times when it came to the controls because, you know, obviously I'm playing a, playing a N64 game with a PlayStation 4 controller, so it's obviously not not that good. Alright. And there we go. There's the first level down. So I don't plan on getting a perfect score at the end goal every time. Sometimes I might hit them perfectly, other times I may not. But here we go, going up the ladder. All the way to the top of the mountain. And we get Yellow Switch Palace, which these switches are going to be very important. But before we actually get to the Yellow Switch, we're going to get all these coins! We love coins! We want all the 1-ups. All the 1-ups are important. There we go. Hey! We're at 10, we're at 10 lives now, that's good. I like an even 10. But at the end of the hallway here... We jump at this button, and the power of the switch you have pushed will turn the yellow dotted squares into actual squares. Your progress will also be saved. Awesome. That's good to hear. 
Yeah, this is one of the SNES games that actually s allowed you to save your game, while other ones, not really, like Earthworm Jim, Earthworm Jim 2, which I want to show those games off to you guys at some point, too. Um, and, like, uh, Prototype, or R-Type, excuse me, R-Type is another one that I played as a kid in that one. Yeah. But the good thing about this is that with these new switch buttons, or these blocks... Hey, Yoshi! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg. Not, it wasn't... That's not an egg, that's a block, Yoshi. He's been in there for so long, he doesn't know what it is. Oh, I'm sorry, Yoshi! I'm gonna be using... Using? I'm gonna be losing Yoshi a lot. <laughs> oh... Okay, I gotta be careful here. So yeah, Yoshi is very useful because with the red shells, as you saw, we uh, Yoshi can blow fire from his mouth. But with the green shells, he just throws the regular shell. And we can just keep eating the fruit. And if we eat so much fruit, he'll actually poop out... Uh, he'll poop out something, and I can't remember what it is. I forget if it's a 1-Up or if it's uh, a Mushroom. Of these guys. No, 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 no. Monty Moles. Go away. Go away. Alright, there is... There's a uh, vine up there, but... I'll go back for it in a second. It was a... Okay, it was a mushroom. I was right. It was a mushroom. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get rid of Yoshi for a second. I'll come back for Yoshi. But I do want these coins here. There we go. Now, technically, like, I guess you can consider 100% in this game. Uh, not getting all those Yoshi coins, but uh, more so all the secrets that are in the game, so. Which there are plenty of. There are plenty of, and there's also a secret world at the end, too. So, also, who needs, who needs those blocks there to throw up at these blocks when I just have Yoshi with me, you know? Yoshi is... Really good to have. Yoshi is an essential partner and tool when it comes to this game, so... Including some other power-ups that we have, which we'll come across one of them. I don't know if we'll come across it in this episode, but definitely in the next one. More so the next one. But there we go, 30! I think we get 50 if we get a perfect one. Wow. All right, Yoshi's Island 3. All right, so this one... So, with the Switch, these platforms didn't appear before, but now they do. Which is really good, because otherwise, if I were to fall down with these swinging platforms, I would have died. And I know that I am... I can become quite klutzy when it comes to platforming in these games. <laughs> maybe not so much like you saw in Super Mario Galaxy and Galaxy 2, and maybe a little bit of, uh... Sunshine, but, uh... Yeah, like these older games that seem to be tougher... Oh, yeah. And I gotta be watchful here. Yeah, here we go. Yellow pipe! Because there are other places to go as well, like that yellow pipe. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Give me that. Yeah, have you guys ever played or ever seen gameplay of Super Mario World? If not, I hope that I bring a good gaming experience for you guys for this Let's Play, and I really do hope that uh, you do enjoy this. Um, I'm, I'm already having so much fun already, just within the first episode, and I can't wait to progress through this. Now, the first world is pretty easy, I'd say, because it is the first world, and it is pretty short. So, I'm jumping, I'm like, risking it with those jumps, but luckily there's those yellow blocks on the bottom. Alright, wasn't there another... Let's move over a little bit. Oh, no, there wasn't. Okay, I thought there was a pipe somewhere for some reason, but I'm, I'm wrong. Alright, we already have a lot of one-ups, by the way, so we're we're good. Okay, I gotta be careful here. There we go. Ugh. 
We get if we get a hundred score, that means we get uh, one up as well. So. I don't know if I'll do that every time, but. <laughs> All right, Yoshi's Island 4. And this time, it's more of a water level. Look at that. So yeah, that... Uh, so the power-up in the middle there, so we can drop it down in case we lose it, and we can get another one. So I don't think we'll have that much of a problem, though, considering I have Yoshi as an extra hit. Oh, hey! Pokies! I'm pretty sure you guys have seen... Uh, Kaizo Mario, which are like ROM hacks of Super Mario World, and uh, those get pretty chaotic. I have never once played a Kaizo Mario game at all. Maybe I should start. I don't know if you guys would recommend that to me. My patience probably would not would not be good. Oh, why is this slow? Gosh, that was slow. I want all these coins, too. There we go. I forget, was there anything up here? No, there wasn't. Okay. Just checking, because you never know. There could be something up there. Ugh. Ugh. I forget if Yoshi can jump on these. But I want to take the risk. So far, we've gotten all the Yoshi coins in every level, which I think is pretty great. You get bonus stars if you cut the tape at the end of each area. If you collect 100 bonus stars, you can play a fun bonus game. Oh, that's what it was. No, I missed it! No! I missed it! Oh, crap. Can't believe that. I missed it. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Iggy's Castle. And unfortunately, we have to leave Yoshi here because Yoshi's too scared to go in, which is understandable. Plus, it's a lot more dangerous for Yoshi. And especially now because we have to crawl along the these, like, fences here. I don't know if you call... Would this be, like, fences or, like... Scaffolding? I, it's some form of scaffolding, I guess. Oh, really? Come on. Ah, this music is just so good. <laughs> Apologize for singing along. <laughs> Alright, I want I want all the score as well, because I think if we get a certain amount of score, we also get a one up. Don't quote me on that, though. Just give me, get rid of all these Koopas. They look really weird when they're walking on the wall like that, or on the scaffolding. <laughs> it looks really weird. The red ones, the red Koopas, they, uh, Koopa Troopas, they move faster, while the green ones, they are kind of slow. All right, what's this? Point of advice, one of Yoshi's friends is trapped in the castle by Iggy Koopa. To defeat him, push him into the lava pool. That gives you a hint as to what you need to do. Oh, this room, I remember this. Don't want to get stomped by whatever those walls are. And then there's like this little divot here where you can crouch down. So you don't die. And then this one I usually like to get ahead of it. So yeah, just don't get crushed. It's the name... It's not really the name of the game, but, you know. Alright, here we go! Oh, that- okay, well. I t I thought I was gonna have a much harder time doing that, but I guess not. <laughs> well, we defeated Iggy. That's funny. And- oh, saying thank you. And we blow up the castle. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in Castle Number One and rescued Yoshi's friend, who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. So that's World One of Super Mario World, which is a very short world, not many levels in it. Now, I think that in the next world, uh, we're probably it's probably not going to be as short as this one. 
because the worlds do get kind of big as we continue along. So in the next episode, we are going to start the next world and start the next level, which is Donut Plains 1. So stay tuned for what's in store for that. And we'll see if we're able to get to the castle, maybe next episode. But there's also a secret in here as well. And as you can see, there's a ghost house next to me, which I think the only way to get to it is through a secret. But you'll find that out next episode. If you guys did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to hit subscribe as well, because that lets me know that you guys enjoy the content on the channel and would like to see more. I have been Savvy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. See you later.